Hi everyone. So most recently I was contacted by someone from the website called Yes Final. That is Y-E-S-F-I-N-A-L. And this is going to be the first time I'm trying out diamond painting. So diamond painting to me, I've never really seen it up close. But it kind of reminds me of like those little rhinestones that people used to put on their Nokia phones in the 90s. Um, but anyways, this is the first one I want to try out. It's this um, cell phone holder. So it's that Lucky Cat. So this one's uh, the Lucky Cat pattern. And I'm going to open it for the first time. So we got this piece of... I don't even know what it is. Is it... It's like this kind of foamy material. I don't know what it is. It's uh it's like a plastic piece on top. I don't know. How does the how does the gemstone stick? Oh, so I think I peel off the plastic on this first. And it's like the it's like sticky underneath like it's a sticker so I peel off this like protective layer thing first I guess when I'm ready uh, what else is here yeah so it's a cell phone holder so these holes go like this then I just stick it in and I look at my cell phone. Okay, so here's my phone. So this would just sit on top like this. So like my phone's the iPhone 12. And it fits perfectly. And pretty sturdy. It just like sits on top like this. Uh, and if I charge it, I charge in the bottom there's space for the charger to just run through. I guess like right here so yeah, pretty neat because usually when I when I put my phone down when I go to bed it's just kind of lying on my nightstand or anywhere on the floor <laughs> uh, anyways that looks cool but let me put this on at the end okay what else is in this baggie so, alrighty. So, in this Ziploc bag, there is red. I don't know why there's an S on it. There is gold, there is black, and there is white. And these are the tools that I need to use, I guess. So let's open this up. So cool, there's only four colors. And so on this cat, there are symbols. Like the background is colored already and we just fill in like those oh, I don't know. Okay. So there's like these symbols everywhere. Like you can see the triangle. There's S and there's G. Triangle S G and what other shapes there's four colors and the square I guess. This square. Yeah. Yeah, so that tells you what color it is. Oh, so S is red. It's just like drawn on like this. Um, but the other ones are, oh, this one has a triangle. This one has a square on it. And then this one, this one has, oh, it says G. G, um, so. Yeah, that tells you where to put everything. Okay, 
So, let's go back to this. So, I don't know what this is called. Is it called a drill? Basically, it's just like a long stick. It feels like a hard straw. And it looks like a pen. And it has like this, this gold tip at the end. I guess it's used to somehow grab. It's like, it doesn't retract or anything. So I just think it just grabs the the little rhinestones from the colored section. And you just kind of pop it onto the sticker. And what is this here? I think this is the tray for the colors. And I don't know what this is. I don't know. What is this? Uh, it's a wax thing, and it has plastic on both sides that I'm going to peel off. Ew. like this strong rubber smell. I don't know what it's for. I'll just leave it on the end, I guess. It's like kind of sticky, rubbery. This is the trash. This is gonna go in the trash. Um, okay. Okay. So the way I think I'm going to work with this is, so one way to do it is do it by color. And another way to do it is do it by location. So since this is not very big, I'm just going to do it by color. And I'll do it for the most infrequent color first. Uh, and then I'll do it with the ones where it's mostly that color. Like here, I'll start with, I'll start with the red and then the gold and then black and then white. Okay. Uh, yeah. If I do it that way, then I'll just peel this whole thing off and make sure nothing lands on it. Or else it'll just get dirty. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's more than I need in here. But I'm just going to start out with red. I'm just going to dump it onto this tray. I'm just going to dump all of it. Here are the rhinestones look like this. And I'm not sure what these little grid things are on here. I don't know if it like helps to line them up on there. Oh, I think I realized something. This little smelly waxy thing. I think I was supposed to press this tool on it first. So that is a little sticky or else it wouldn't even like pick up any of these rhinestone things. So like I pressed on it first. Like this. It reminds me of like a dental tool. Like the uh the polish thingy. Anyways. Uh so you kind of push it on that thing first. And then you push it on a rhinestone. And then it's sticky. And so here, there's like a little rhinestone on here. See, I have the rhinestone thing on the end of my stick. So the red color is S. Okay, first thing I have to do is... I'm just going to peel out this entire thing. I'm going to peel this, this protective layer. 
being extra careful. This just comes right off. I wonder if I can even finish this today. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add it to the first S. Okay, my first time diamond painting ever. Um, so right here. Okay. Oh, cool. So it stays. Okay, that's cool. This is how you do it. Okay, now I guess I'll just do the rest. And I don't think I need to replace this waxy thing. So... I guess this goes by pretty quickly. So I might even finish today. I wonder how well these hold up. Like, are these gonna fall off over time? I don't know. Some people like seal it with, some people seal it with uh, what do you call it? A varnish? I don't know. I don't think I would want to seal anything like this because then some people say it loses its shine and I don't know. So this company, Yes Final, is from China and they have like thousands of diamond painting kits so they sent me three one three of the ones that i wanted so this is one of the more simpler ones so i haven't opened the more complex ones so i really wonder what that one will look like i think once i get the hang of this i can probably do it really fast but not yet. So like a little bit of my wax pieces comes off after after like one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 very like like cross stitching it's like very OCD you just want to get it like perfectly in that circle and uh what's it gonna say it doesn't take us long either just all the waxy stuff gets on here and no oh, I put my finger on it that doesn't make it less sticky uh. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that I see why people like this because it's just shiny. These are just like shiny things. I'm almost done with it. That's this red color. Okay, I'm done with the reds. So yeah, it's like shiny. Pretty cool. Okay, here I have my gold. So I put my red off to the side. So what do I think about diamond painting right now? I think it's pretty fun. Um, very OCD and 
some tips I'm going to tell myself is don't hold on to this stick too hard. Like you don't have to. It's just gonna make your fingers sore. Um, yeah, this would be a fun activity to like sit here and like just do it and drink wine or something. It's very relaxing and I can't wait to see what the end results will look like to see if it's like even any different from whatever you already see on this pattern. Yeah. Okay, just right left. Okay, so I am done with the project and it took me like, I don't know, a couple hours, one or two hours. So this is what I have left of the little gemstone things. And this is that rubber thing. And here it is. It's a, it's a stand. My phone. Ta-da! Pretty cute. So here it is. So I don't know what the material is. It's like this papery foamy thing. So it kind of has like a little, I already kind of try to jam it into the hole here. So it kind of has like this thing falling apart, but it still works. It's cute. And thanks again to Yes Final.